Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, guys, with Gonzalo Geds, this review is going to be a little bit later. Uh, usually with the SPCs, we're a little bit quicker, but they gave us a bunch of loan cards. So I'm actually trying out a lot of the new icon cards while trying out Geds. So it gives us a good opportunity to kind of uh, test them out in different ways, right? So guys, with Gonzalo Geds, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'10", high, low work rates, right footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Uh, this is a card that can upgrade, right? So if you take a look at the potential upgrades in the future. Um, what are we in right now? We're in the quarterfinals, right? Last eight? Last eight's quarter, yeah, quarterfinals. All five quarterfinals. So I guess they already gave him the improvements. Listen, if they ended up doing that, that's fine to me. Like, if they didn't release the card back then, but they release it now, like, okay, I, whatever, you know. Um, qualify for semifinals, plus one inform and plus three new traits. Oh, do a uh, chip shot, finesse shot, and outside foot shot if he wins. Those three are very nice, okay? Um, or, I don't know, it depends. Sometimes they give some good stuff. Qualify for the final, a five-star weak foot. Also would be a huge plus with the four-star weak foot currently. Um, and then win the final, plus one on the inform and a five-star skill move upgrade. So he'd be a five-star, five-star player with a plus one on the inform. So plus one just to semifinals, okay. Because... I'm looking at this card in game, right? And I'm looking at him on an engine chemistry style. It has to be an engine, in my opinion. Um, I refuse to listen to anybody saying anything otherwise because his dribbling stats is perfect for you to want to give him an engine because he's still going to be on the lower side for certain areas of the card, uh, which you may want to be improved because he's an average body type player. So you have to give him an engine. You have to work with the shooting stats as it is, as of right now. It's a card that you kind of hope in the future gets the upgrade. Some people are giving him an engine. Some people are giving him a finisher as well. Um, if I go into the route of giving him a finisher, that wouldn't be necessarily horrible because he gets a nice little shooting boost. But the thing is, is that, you know, with the engine, I feel like, you know, boosting the balance, agility, all that kind of stuff, it's going to be important. You know, it's going to be important. Engine will give him really good pace as well, 96, 98 to work with. Uh, it's a card that can switch from left mid striker to center forward. So very huge W for the Liga Noj guys, especially for people who still have the Gonzalo Ramos, if you actually use these types of guys. Um, shooting on the card, what's really important is shot power being high. Okay, that's really, really important because yes, attacking positioning is lower, 89 for finishing, but, but... We need to see what his high-low work rate is like, okay? Because high-low work rates, generally speaking, is a really good work rate to work with. Does he generally have high lows? Well, he does have generally high low. Okay, cool. Um, passing stats will be improved on an engine too, so you can pretty much use them in any of the attacking positions with an 83 for stamina. It's okay. Probably a card you want to use mainly through the middle as much as possible, but, you know. Uh, dribbling will be improving for now. You do want that to be improved. You want that plus one at the very least for the inform um, so that he can be in the 90s area. I think that's going to be very important for this card. Absolutely. Um, defensive capabilities. He has 87 heading accuracy if you do get into a heading opportunity. But he doesn't really have much jumping, so I don't really expect him to potentially hit uh, a bunch of those into the back of the net. But, you know, we'll see. Anyways, Gonzalo uh, gets guys. We're going to be using him in two different ways. We're using him in... A 4-3-2-1, playing as the left striker. And then we're also using him in a 3-4-2-1, playing as the main striker, right? So just to test them out in different attacking positions. You can see that some of the teams are formatted weirdly because I'm doing reviews for some other cards, right? So sometimes they're not fully formatted correctly, but it'll do for um, for now. I think I do 3-4-2-1 in the last two or three games because I finished like Del Piero and all those types of guys, right? So... Um, yeah, the instruction for this is just stay central, get him behind for the striker, and then the left forward and right forward are just kind of just chilling, you know, on the uh, balance instruction. So, yeah, let's go see what he's like, guys. Look at that. Beautiful build-up play. Small little stuff, man. Just for the fun of it, man. Just for the fun of it. That was really good. The left stick came off great there. Nice. In the last minute, too. Good goal, Gonzalo Gedge. Good goal. And the lineup for the home side. Petr Cech stands between the posts. 
Eric Lamela plays with Carlos Vela out wide. And then what a chance. This is Derek. Oh, we get the block. No, man. That was a chance, too. Ricardo Carvalho. Now Zidane. Renato Sanchez. Gonzalo Getch. Del Piero. Here's Renato Sanchez. Gonzalo Getch. Del Piero. Bro, Del Piero? Saucy, man. Saucy. Absolutely saucy. That whole build-up play was so sick to do with him. Oh, that pass has got to be better by Gonzalo Gedge. That's a bad opportunity to give away. Get a defensive play out of Gedge there. Let's go, Del P. Oh, Gonzalo Gedge is not going to do anything there. No chance. Uh, still got to do an extra pass there. This is what I have to do because he activated that pressure tactic and everyone's marked now. It's just crazy. Now I have to get lucky on a header. Like, there's nothing I can do in those situations. It's so dumb. Now I have to stop playing the game to play the game now. It's just dumb. I have to get lucky because my players feel slow and sluggish and I have to get like a situation like this. Maybe get Look, like, you don't know, you see what I'm saying? He pulled me back there. Oh, if I greened it. It's a goal. It's a foul, but it's not a foul. It, it won't be a foul. There's no chance, guys. Why would it be? Oh, would have been nice if I scored that. Would have been sick. The next shots are not that crazy, though, but I always try them. No, man, EA, just let me control the ball, man. What is, like, what, like, look at this. And I still don't get it, man. Oh, just give me the ball. Oh, my goodness, man. Let's go, baby. Nice, guys. Ah, white time shot there. I don't expect a finesse shot to work with him from a distance like that. And it's off by me. Wow. Look at that. I'll try to shield it to get past. Oh, yes, yes, I actually scored one of those. Let's go, baby. Oh, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that, but I could have got it for sure. Oh, wow, that actually was pretty good. Not too shabby. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, dude, I almost had that timing, man. Alinga, man, the best player in the game. Oh, roll. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Oh yeah, give me that high-low work rate. 
Give me that high-low work rate, Gonzalo. Yes. Yes. Super nice. Let's go! Gonzalo Gedge! Yes! No, I'm so dumb. I had it. I had it. Oh, I'm not gonna have that pace. No, not that one. Hmm, yeah, manual defending, bro. Hey, how it be in this game? Hey, how it be in this game? Pass it out. Yes. Pass it back. Upwards. Let's go. A little fake shot. Huge, huge mistake by me there. Oh, don't let him do that pass. Yeah. Even though if you know, even if you know. <gasps> Couldn't solo the best player in the game. Yes. Flashback Ronaldo. Gonzalo Getch. No. I guess you gotta work with the dribbling a tiny bit there. Oh, little I'll trigger. You gotta go all trigger right away. There's no chance that defensive AI is gonna be on top of me. Bang. There it is. Touch again. Tap shot. No! No, the tap shot's not the choice there. I have to do a regular strike. What do you mean, dude? That should be a goal. I'm so annoyed. It's okay though, Gonzalo Gedge. Oh. We're good. No, we're not. Yes, we are with the flick. Oh, what's happening? Little whoop, little whoop, whoop. No, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna tell me, Paling is not him, bro. You're gonna tell me, guys. You're gonna tell me, Paling is not him, bro. Paling is him. He's offside, but Paling is him. Okay. Don't ever disrespect my boy. It's not about the Portuguese. He has crazy. I, I, why, do you, why do you think I freaked out about his inform in the beginning of the year? I was like, this guy has the most sauciest defensive animations. I, 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 hey, I got nothing else to say. Okay, nothing else to say. Playoffs one, pretty nice. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Gonzalo Gedge card. Uh, to be honest with you, I would say that the main thing that you want to be improved is definitely going to be the dribbling and the shooting, right? For consistency. I feel like with this card, if... Dude, if Efica somehow wins a Champions League, this card will be so sick to play with from the Liga Noj, 100%, right? But I want at least one upgrade on the card. I think that'd be really cool because giving him those traits as well as the base card stats for shooting and dribbling being higher on a plus one, that would be incredibly helpful. Because for me personally, you definitely feel the average body type. So you want that part of the card to be improved as much as possible. It's gonna be very, very important uh, to boost that area for him. Um, yeah, it was mostly just the physical. For higher percentage strikes, so there was that one tap shot that he didn't really have a lot of power or finishing behind it. I probably could have done like a, a power strike to be fair, uh, but you know, maybe if I did have higher shooting stats, he would hit it more consistently because I use players like Del Piero and stuff like when I was just doing the review and I'm like in further distances away, but he has a five star weak foot to be fair. Uh, and he hits the tap shots like crazy, like certain areas, he just hits them really well. But here's the thing about this SBC, right? So for people who do build Liga Noche teams, they don't really give us a lot of crazy meta cards. Um, so if you actually take a look. I still have players like Wilson Manafa, who's actually incredibly usable in this game. He still is very usable. Um, obviously, in my case, I still have like flashback Ronaldo, Palinga, Ronaldo Sanchez, all these types of guys. Um, this account is not played on as much, right? But if I did, I would have a lot of Portuguese links to work with, right? Um, Enzo Fernandez still has that card from back in the day if you still wanted to use that. Uh, and they do a few cards here and there to link him. So he's not terrible to link. There's a lot of very good Portuguese players in the game nowadays. Like I can build somewhat of a meta team like especially if they drop like a new ricardo carvalho in the future that would be kind of saucy too but yeah right now you do this sbc as a card that as a liga noche player is still pretty sick to use for what it is but you definitely require at least one of those upgrades the first upgrade is definitely going to be very necessary for this card uh for him to perform a little bit better but hey 
For the consoles around the card, for a card that can upgrade for 34K, it's a WSBC, 100%. Absolute WSBC. Like I said, League of Notch players doesn't really have that many crazy players, and this card is really cool to use for what it is, right? His best version in any FIFA game, because Gonzalo Gedge is usually very, very incredibly generic, but with the improvements, can definitely be very saucy to work with. I love that high-low work rate. It definitely saves a card a lot, because I'm all about that movement to get into the right positions at the right time, right? So, um, but... Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Hopefully it gets those traits in the future to be kind of saucy. But I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.